Welcome back, I'm Kevin Locken, and this is part five of our build series. We'd started this project back in October, and knowing that being in the Midwest, we knew we were gonna hit winter conditions. So over the past few months of kind of being absent, the guys went ahead and finished the rest of the roof here. So I'm gonna take you guys up, show you guys the assembly that we had here, and some of the minor things that we had to do in the punch list to get this thing completed. As we were finishing up our roof, a couple of things took place. It took us about two months to finish this thing because of the winter conditions that we happen to run into. We happen to get a bad, bad cold snap here um, for, gosh, probably about two, three weeks where it was just on and off, back and forth. So when, when we went to set this assembly, it's about five or six parts. We have some, some gussets here that we had to strap down to the roof, then we had to run strapping through. The insulation didn't come out on one roll, it came out on two. So to get the R39 that was needed, we had to roll out a R18 or R19 and then an 11 over that to get the rating that we needed. It might've been, might been two 19s. Anyways, we had to go through that and then as we're rolling it out, run the sheets because we didn't know how it would run at the end of the day and we couldn't get any moisture on top of these. So one of the things that we had to do was just run the sheets as we were running the insulation. A lot of times if we're in summer conditions, we'll just go ahead, run out the insulation and then run the sheets. But this was just pragmatic and piece by piece by piece. So it took a little bit longer than we wanted to, but hey, that's winter here in the Midwest. The last piece of the assembly is the standing seam roof on top of this. And what we had to do there was run those sheets over our insulation, and then we had to go ahead and seam it. So we you know, got out our big sheets, we seamed it, then ran the ridge cap, which just took a little bit of time extra because again, we ran into winter conditions. It's slick up there and you'd rather be safe than sorry when sending your guys up there. So we'd have to either make sure that it was nice and warm in here so that it, we could get the moisture off of the roof or we just had to wait for a sunny day to get all of that all of that ice off the roof as well so there's a couple different conditions that we were playing with in there the next thing that we ran into was the gutters and that was a trip all in itself and the reason why i say that is because as the guys are running the bands for the gutters, they're just getting rain down on from the roof. You know, you're heating this place inside here, running, pumping all that heat up the air, and it's just coming to the top of the deck where then it's just expanding on top of the roof. So it's just raining on top of those guys daily. Uh, took, took maybe about a week to run the gutters, so it wasn't really too much of a big deal. And then we went ahead and called it a day. Um, we came back about a week later and had to run punch list. Now, for our punch list, we had to come here and what I'm keeping you guys here for the example, we had to come here and find any protrusions in this insulation and go ahead and tape these squares off. Now, if you guys can see, there's a couple of little dribbles here so we're not quite done with punch. I'll have another guy take this tape off or pop another hole in this to get all of this water out of here. In fact, if I have anything, I can do it myself. Mm -hmm. So as you guys can see, there's a little bit of water in there. And so what'll have to happen is, is that we'll have to find that seam. So this seems to be the only bay that we've got in here that has water. So we'll have to find the center and we'll have to come back and catch just this one bay. I just happen to stop at this one and this one needs to be adjusted because we need to get that water out of there. So what'll probably happen is I'll come here with a knife, cut this open, get this all stretched out, get it all dried out for a couple of days, seam the top of the roof again with a, with a bar across that standing seam, and then come back and tape this. But that's really the only way to get this addressed and, and taken care of. 
just had to had to come here and address any punch list items but all we really did was erect the building you guys saw from beginning to end where we laid out for any of the steel we made sure to come out here before any corrections were needed because this was just an assembly type building so it was just bolted together so the engineer came out addressed everything that needed to be addressed we came in here bolted it erected it sheathed it insulated it made it all watertight with the exception of this hole and that should be the end of the project so you guys can see from beginning from concept to finish this is us running through the end of the project for us and just tightening up any loose ends that we've got that's our freight center build don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys have any comments or questions don't forget to hit us below we'll be more than happy to answer them for you have a good one